Can I get a beefy Frito burrito? There you go. Thank you very much. So I know you guys see me eat fast food like all the time, and I, I really am trying to stop. It's it's really unhealthy, and I'm just, it's just not good. Today, I honest to God did not have time to cook anything. I spent all morning, right now it is 2.50. I spent all morning doing math homework and sitting in a business meeting. So that's basically how my morning went, but I am gonna try to get out on the water. I'm headed to a subscriber's house right now. I never met this guy before, and uh, he says he's got a fire pond for us to hit. And the weather sucks at 59 degrees. It's cold. It's windy. Uh, but I had, you know, I had the rest of the afternoon to kill, and not a whole lot of work to do. So I'm gonna go fishing for you guys. I'm bringing the cameras along. I have no idea how good it's gonna be. I have no idea if uh, if we're gonna even gonna catch any fish. But uh, there's only one way to find out. So I made it to. Uh, you got my rods and everything, right? Yep. All right. Made it to Ryan's house. We're going fishing. It's a uh, hardcore farm pond. Hardcore farm pond. Hardcore. All right. Hardcore, parkour. Yeah. All right, let's go. We uh, made it to the pond. Right over there is just the pond. Uh, I don't know. It, it was cloudy. Now it's sunny. I don't know if that's good or bad. There's weeds, but I think we're uh, we're gonna catch a fish. I don't know. Is there anything else? So we're gonna start at this little uh, this little area here before we put the John boat on the water. I just rigged up a frog because there's a ton of weeds, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like cold weather and weeds are just a bad combination. It's pretty much like gin clear water though, which is, which is I guess it's probably pretty good. All right, they don't want the frog. So probably gonna go and uh, Get in the boat pretty quick here. Start fishing, fishing from the boat. Oh, there you go. Nice. Slowly but surely. Well, we're out on the boat. Barely. Now we're cooking. I'm just hauling down this little pond here. I've never been here. This is uh, this is Ryan's pond. He's been here, obviously. So we're gonna see, I don't know, we'll see if we can catch any fish. Might be kinda, might be kinda tough. We've got some tough conditions, but we'll uh, see what happens. All right. I, I was thinking that was more than three, or more than two, seven. But... It was probably right, that was right about, yeah. How do you fish a spinner? I just, I just, you just kinda crank it in, yeah. You can... No, oh, I thought, do you have one? No. I think there might, oh, yeah, I oh I do. Oh, I do. Do you have one? Oh, we got doubles on the spinnerbait, dude. No way. Oh, dude. I actually, oh, I got a toad. You do? Dude, I got a toad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got a toad. Oh, my God. I got a freaking dude, pig. Five, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Get her in the boat. Oh, yeah, God. baby. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. Come dude. On. Oh, that my. is a toad. Dude, that thing, look that at- That is a toad. Look how it ate that spinnerbait, dude. Oh my god. I've never- Double up, too. Look at this. We got two. Double up. We got two, we got two dude. Oh, I Mine cannot did. believe how it ate okay. that spinnerbait. We got 4.45, so four and a half, yeah. Half. I knew it was pretty close to five. That's what the real sonar scale says, four and a half. All right, we're getting the, uh, the release on this big girl right there. Four and a half. There she goes. I'm gonna name you Bertha. See you, big Bertha. And that was my first cast of the spinnerbait. That's, oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't know if I had one or not. It's <laughs> yeah. so hard if you tell if you tell if you have a bite, because I think there's some like weeds out in the middle, but. Yeah, there's, there's some But I think we found what lure they like, at least one of them. Oh, they like a lot. Yep. Okay. Yep, I got one. Wow. It's not a dink, but it's not a big end. It's probably a two. Sweet, Got that's a sec way. second spinnerbait fish. Hey, it's just a little guy. Just a little guy. Another uh, spinnerbait fish. All right, see you, Leslie. Mm, like right now, but like if you have ice, if you're ice fishing, you can go anywhere on the lake. One year ago. There's one. Oh, there's one. Pig? Oh, dude, that might oh be a big Oh my God, end. that's a pig. That might be a big end. It's a good one. It is a good, it's about two and a half, three. Oh yeah, that's a good end. 
Dude, look how fat that one is, oh dude. My oh my gosh. Look how oh fat my that God. is. I literally just got a football. That is a pig. That's a straight football. Look how small this mouth is. Like if I was to hold it like this, you guys would think it's like a one pounder. Look at that. Look how fat that three. thing. That yeah, that's that's pushing three, probably two and three quarters. Look at that how long fish, is that dude. Thing? Like 15. 16. That's probably 16 inches and almost three pounds. That is a straight <laughs> football. What is it? 278. Wow. Yeah, 278. So we were we were both pretty much right there. So almost a three pounder, and it's literally probably 15, 16 inches. All right, we'll uh, get a release on another spinnerbait fish. See you later, Benjamin. Dude, I can't believe that dude crushed this like that. That's what we need. There's one. Oh, Big. dude! Big. Back to back cast. Oh my gosh! In the boat. We found the juice, boys. Oh, we yeah. found the juice. Look how chunky. Oh. We're just, we're literally just in chunk fest right now. Like this is just unfreaking real. Gorgeous little fish. I don't even know what to say. I haven't had a spinnerbait day like this in really ever, dude. I've never caught him like this on a spinnerbait. So you, don't know you, guys, you guys see I'm working, I'm literally working this almost like a jerk bait where you just kind of like, you flutter it and it's just, they're reacting on it like it's, it's crazy. I've never, I've, I mean, I've never done it like this. But that's just that's just the pattern that I've kind of figured out is they're eating the spinner baits, but it's kind of a lot of it's the retrieval for biggins. Mm -hmm. Come on, fish! I did it again. There is. Yep. Oh, I told you. Yes. Oh, dude, it's a good, it's a good one, yeah. Oh my god, I totally knew I was good. Oh, dude, it's a big, it's a freaking donkey. Oh my god, oh my god, yes. Dude, oh yes. Look at That's that, four. dude. <laughs> I totally called. That. I was like, oh yeah, I'm totally catching one right here. How come you're catching all the toes? Dude, I'm using the, look at these little. That's a three. That's at least three. I'm gonna go three point. Seven? I'm gonna go three two. We were both off. We got a uh, 2.95. I knew it was like low threes. That's a chunk though. All right, another spinner rate fish. You guys saw how I was retrieving that, uh, doing a little jig jig technique. See ya, Bethany. There she goes. Woo! She smoked it. There's one. That might be a crappie. Oh. Oh, it's a toad. Dude, it's a toad largemouth. That might be a four. Is that a square bill fish? Yeah. Dude, this is a toad. I'll grab her. Oh my God, it is. All right. Yes, another donkey. Dude, look at these fish. Look at that big girl right there. I'd say about three, th three eight maybe. Yeah, three and a half We're or so. Go ahead and weigh her. Yep. Three point three five. Three three five. Yep, three point three five. There you oh, go, dude. a little over three and a quarter. That's on the square bill too, dude. Good work. Get a release on that girl. She goes. Good work, dude. Top. Nice. So this was the uh, crank, but I gave this to Ryan to use. He wanted to try, uh, try a square bill to actually catch a crappie. He said there's some big crappie in here, and he actually ended up catching a three pound bass. So they're biting spinner baits and uh, square bill. So probably, probably shad imitation is is usually probably the key. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm I'm gonna try to think of a new lure to throw instead of a spinner bait. There's one. Look at this kid. Are you kidding me? Look at this kid. He's just he's just catching fish while I'm sitting here talking about catching fish. But uh, I'm gonna try throw, throwing something a little different in the spinner bait and I see if I can catch really fish. Hit it all when hit it. Okay. I think we uh, just hit this pond on the right day for sure. They're just uh, they're feeding. Yeah, we uh, we definitely hit the pond on on the right day. I think it's just the right conditions of cool weather, um, wind, and all that type of stuff. So we're gonna keep fishing though. We've still got like an hour. I'm I'm guessing or so of sunlight. So. Good work, dude. Good work. Yeah. Cause I don't think, I mean, I wouldn't say I don't think we're gonna catch them, but there's a good chance we won't. The water temperature might be too cold for them to for them to chase them on top. Or the little, oh, dude. I was reeling this chatterbait on top of the surface. Did he hit it? And he hit it. Well, la da Let's see if we can actually catch this fish. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I got him. Eat oh my gosh, dude, this might be an absolute tank. 
Oh my gosh, dude, he crushed that chatterbait. Oh, no, she's not. What the heck? Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh my god. Oh, you guys see all those weeds around there? They literally look like the entire fish. I thought it was like a seven pounder. That's still a good fish though. One of the one of the best fishing days I've had in I've had in a while. It's uh wow. That's that one for sure is over three, probably three and a half. See you later, Rosie. Dang. Rosie, Rosie got attitude. Dang, Rosie! What'd I do to you? There's a fish. Yeah. Oh, Sanko fish. Oh, oh, it's not a bad one. A little one and a halfer. Decided to toss the Sanko out there before we made the move for the top water and caught fish. See ya, bub. Oh, oh, he got popper fish. Oh, snap. I heard that girl eat it. She biggin? Oh, she, little, she a little baby. That's a topwater fish. That means uh, time to put down the old chatterbait. Pick up the old buzz bait. Punching, punching out of a John boat. Classic. That would, yeah, you guys hit me up anytime. I will. I'm in need of actual fire ponds. Oh my gosh! Oh! oh. My God! Did you see that fish? Dude, cast again, cast again. Where's my Senko? Oh, okay. I definitely just missed like a 12 pound largemouth. Did you see that? I've never seen anything like that in my life. He actually had it too, and then he came off. Oh, I'm, ne I'm not putting the buzzer down the rest of the night. Uh, I've never seen a bass that big in my that life. That was at least eight. At least an eight pounder. Bare minimum an eight pounder. Oh my God. I hope this GoPro saw that. How? I don't know how he, how he missed it. He ate it and he swam with it. When I went to go set it, it was gone. There's one. Chatterbait. Uh, no. It's a good fish, though. Since I couldn't catch him with the buzz bait, I picked up a chatterbait. Third cast. A little one and a half, one and three quarters. A little, ch a little chunky, chunky. Another uh, gorgeous little... Nebraska large mass. You really, really good at, you always have a bad moment in your day. Yeah, I mean, I can't complain too much if I'm missing some buzzbait fish when I had 40 other fish. There's one. Finally, I hooked him on a buzzbait. I saw him come up and eat it. There we go. That's first topwater fish for me. Old dude. Another little not a, not a teeny tiny guy, but. Not a big one. Well, I did it, guys. Topwater fish. Finally, after missing like 27 fish on a buzzbait, caught this little squeak, squeak McGee. I'm eating ice cream. Fishing day is over. Caught some fish. I dropped Ryan off. We got ice cream. We got food. But I didn't officially like end the video, so I want to kind of end it here. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop a comment down below. I've got all the gear listed in the description. So if you want to know like the rods and reels and line, I kind of did go over like the baits and the tactics that we were using throughout the video, which I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that instead of me talking about that at the end of the video. So if you did like that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If it gets a lot of likes, then I know to keep doing it that way. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Really appreciate you guys' support. Peace.